Hi guys, how are we doing? Uh, sorry I've been away for a bit. I've uh, been non-stop with the business. i uh, obviously been by myself. It's uh, it's a bit daunting working non-stop and then uh, trying to juggle personal life and, you know, families and stuff. It gets to be on top. So, But here I am. Uh, I'm going to do a video. Um, I sort of got a message from someone that has started out. Uh, or it, this is to anyone starting out, as I usually do. Um... Uh, worried about how to uh, what sort of tools to buy when you first start out because obviously there's so many to buy and they are very expensive and there's no worth being stuck with loads of tools that you're not going to use um i've got loads that i don't even use but you know it's always good to have as many as possible just you know we are professionals turning up it's quite embarrassing to turn to a job and you don't have that specific tool but if you are starting out and you wanted your main basic tools absolutely yeah uh sort of made a list of things um that i think is really important for starting out so you know they can be a bit expensive but you'll always earn your money back and once you learn the techniques of certain um uh, tools yeah you'll, you'll know so probably my first thing i'd say as i say i always recommend nde non-destructive entry picking um any twat can use a drill but i'd say main thing is your epg i use a gj lox one uh another good one is a chronos uh, but i say epg get your good blades with it also obviously there's a long list of blades i use law locks uh tools blades uh, as I say, most of you, if you are you, you're watching this, you should be locksmith, so you'll be certified stuff. So use their links, um, GJ Locks and Law Lock Tools. They're brilliant. Um, for the price, you get them as well. They are second to none. Uh, Mica cards. Mica cards are always good to have. Obviously, slipping. Um, there's techniques to use, but I say Mica cards are, are another one that you should always have as an NDE. Uh, good standard pick set. Um, I think I use a Peterson. I think I've got a few to be honest, but as I say, yeah, Peterson set is good. Um, learning the basics of um, yeah, you should have, you should know how if you are starting out to pick. But you know, practice makes perfect. I always still practice. So yeah, get yourself some locks to practice with your Peterson pick set. Uh, bypass tool is a very very important one to have. As I say, not all um, cylinders are key keys. You also get thumb turns. Um, if you have that specific bypass tool, that will always um, get the end of the uh, the thumb turn, and yeah, Bob's your uncle. So good to have a bypass. There are quite a few, but I say I've got at least eight bypass tools. Always good to have small and large. Uh, bump keys. Bump keys I use very rare, very very often. Um, there are a lot of bump keys, but. Depending on the area you live in, as I say, you usually get your standard Euros and stuff. Uh, as long as you've got a good Versa era, um, yeah, start off with them and learn the, the technique of bumping. And it's so much less hassle. But as I say, it don't happen overnight. It takes a lot of time to, just to learn. But bump keys is one. Uh, padlock shims help, help out quite a lot. As I say, depending on people with garages and... And, and locks and you know um, sheds easy one I can just drill it but I say if you can't pick it a padlock shim's good um, quite quite easy to do once you learn the descent learn the technique and it's um, yeah it's less messy um, for your mortises your 5G your 7G key turners brilliant to have obviously if someone's got a key stuck on the inside nothing worse um there are there is a technique behind it though so be careful you don't want to push the key on the other side but as i say if you should know that if not give me a text and i can tell you how to do it um multi-pick i use the gj multi-pick um as i don't really deal with a lot of mortises where i live same thing if you do deal with a lot of mortises where you live um yeah definitely a multi-pick because um, obviously it, it does do majority of uh, mortises on on the market. Um, there's a new so new a new one called Eight Ball Engineering, which um, I probably will invest in soon. But I do well my GJs to be fair. Maybe I even might even um, sell it and then get one of those. But we'll see. But as I say, yeah, multi pick is important. Um, snap bar, snap bar is always good. 
as I say, if it's anti snap, if you're gonna if you're gonna replace the cylinder anyway, then the snap bar is always handy. UPVC latch tools, as I say, so you can um move the hooks and stuff back it's always good to have a uh, letterbox tool is very very um i would say one of your things you gotta definitely get on top of your epg is without doubt a letterbox tool and always get a good um camera with it as well i use the ferret hd um absolute godsend uh, there's nothing worse you know, guessing where, where the latch is on the back or someone's got the keys on the inside or thumb turn, whatever it is. Um, I use the LBT Multi Turner 2 with that um, from GJ Locks again. Um, yeah, gets you out of semi-sticky situations. Um, but with the camera, obviously you can um, use it as a Bluetooth to your phone. You can see on the inside, yeah, HD quality. Um, you're in and out there in minutes. Uh, lock puller if you really need to um, I have one of those um, say it gets me out of sticky situations if you're not going to use a snap bar uh, a good light a good light um, is a main thing that I always say because I do 24 hours so nothing worse than getting to a job and it's pitch black outside they even got no lights you can't see what you're doing so torches uh, a good light I've got a rechargeable battery light um, that I think it lasts up to an hour and a half and it's bright and it can literally light up everywhere so I can see so you don't lose no pit, bits and stuff so please yeah a light um, one of the actual one of my favourite tools I only recently got one um, believe it or not is, is actually my Dremel 8220 um, a ro rotary tool um, it's cordless the amount of jobs that's got me out of as I say it cuts through everything um, you also you've got to get the parts to it um, so basically yeah so you have to get your magic buzz your 50 your 60 mils because um, I say if you can't NDE and you have to strike the lock but if you're going to replace it don't matter but instead of spending a long time the Dremel goes through it like nothing um, I'll also recommend to get the 426 fiberglass cutting wheels with it um, obviously if you come across chains and stuff like that, very thick chains, there's nothing worse you can't pick. They're going to replace the, uh, the, the bike chain, i.e. whatever, or padlocks, then yeah, in and out. Um, depending where you live, as I say, again, with the Mortis locks, um, I live in London and a lot of locks are Chubb. Now, obviously Chubb don't do locks anymore. Um, Union bought them out, but chub 3 g 114s and stuff like that they're an absolute nightmare to pick i mean they're unpickable unless you have a stand and um a stand and turner pick um which does that i mean obviously once you learn the, the basics how to do it um i would say invest in a stand and turner pick they are quite expensive but i say it, it depends if you come across a lot of chubs i have one um i've used it quite a lot as I say, I have my money back in no time. It was expensive, but as I say, for the time it takes you to use that, you'll be there forever. Um, it does the, the 3G114, the 3G114E, the 3G115, the 3K74, the f E3K74, and the 3K75s. So it does quite a lot of locks. Um, but as I say, it is, uh, yeah, it's really handy to have if you come across chubs. Um, what else have we got? Um, pretty much your basic stuff, I'll say. Obviously, like you know, it's not all just having those tools. You need um, hammer, a very good chisel set, a massive to have a good chisel set. You know, always look after your chisels, um, sharpen them. Um, a euro measure for your cylinders, unless you do it with uh, yeah other ways. But I always use a euro measure. A uh, good tape measure, ruler, uh, good drill bits. TCT drill bits or wood drill bits if you've got to cut out um, wood cutters packers let's see if you do UBVC packers always handy um, screws always get you know from the 10 mil up to 80 mil if you have to because you can never have enough screws there's always turn up to jobs uh, good cordless I use a DeWalt um, obviously I have a hand handheld screwdriver as well but cordless always gets you out of uh, problems um, one of the main things, and I say I'm going to put this on there, is that um, a lot of locksmiths tell you is knee pads. <laughs> Invest in very good knee pads, or even a knee mat. 
Um, so we we're all getting older. Uh, my knees are shot to bits from years and years of um, building and, and, and locksmithing. Um, but yeah, knee pads are a must. Always wear your knee pads, guys. Um, as I say, because um, you're always on your knees doing um, cutouts and stuff. <coughs> Airbags. Airbags is a must. Um, especially if you, I say deal with UPVCs and someone's locked out, they're um, yeah, they're a godsend. With the spreaders, obviously you get UPV spreaders, you get wood ones, you get metal ones. Um, I have them all. A GT eighty five, always carry a GT eighty five. Um, hex gun keys, obviously if you have to realign, I realign pretty much every door I do just to keep it, you know, so the customers happy. So I always throw in realignment in in my labour. <coughs> so hex gun keys to adjust your hinges and stuff, or if they're screws. Um, wipes see the things like that you know builders wipes i use because i clean every every job i do as you should do as well good um hoover or or uh, dust powder brush you know clean as you go or i use ubvc cleaner um which is brilliant it smells but it's um yeah it leaves the the, the ubvc or whatever you're doing gleaming looks brand new uh flatheads you know obviously flathead screwdrivers are a must there, honestly there's so much but i'll say pretty much with all that lot um yeah make a note guys and um yeah if there's anything else probably i haven't thought of but i'd say that is pretty much most stuff that i'd go with and then add to your to your arsenal i've got loads um so yeah hope that helps um as i say thanks for the messages guys and i've been away but as i say thanks for the messages i'll always help you guys and um yeah keep watching thank you and yeah any problems as usual just a message and i'll always get back to you like i do have a good day it's beautiful sun out there um i'm gonna go and get something to eat so see you later